I had to throw a picture in here. The rest of the video will be made with illustrations and three-dimensional drawings. But I wanted to give you an idea of how a tree, we have a small palm tree here, a small palm tree. It just does, I would imagine it's uh, 12 inches in diameter and probably planted about uh, two feet away from the retaining wall. And it's doing, the, doing a number on the retaining wall. Just wanted to give you an idea of how much a tree or the roots of a tree can actually impact a retaining wall, especially a smaller retaining wall. This is probably about a four or five foot retaining wall. This is not what I'm going to be talking about in the video, but uh, it uh, is one of the only pictures I could find. So there it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at a three dimensional drawing. This is a smaller tree. I scaled it down provided you with a retaining wall and an example of what a small retaining wall and the footing might look like. This would be about a two foot tall retaining wall. Obviously we can see here that the tree is not touching the footings and uh, most small retaining walls have a small footing and uh, the smaller the footing, the easier it's going to be for the tree to move the retaining wall when it feels like it. So again, smaller tree, same retaining wall. Now the tree's a little larger and uh, starting to put a little more pressure on the retaining wall. And of course, you're not going to see most of this from above. You know, if you're going to do a little bit of digging in here, maybe you're going to plant some flowers or something like that, you might run into some roots. but. If you um, don't have any idea what the roots can actually do, it's not going to be a concern of yours. But once we remove the soil, we can actually see where the roots are starting to go underneath the retaining wall. They can actually lift the retaining wall up. And then we have roots that are starting to put pressure on the retaining wall and this will actually force the retaining wall over. Now I know a lot of people think that uh, in a situation like this that it's somehow soil related or that it has something to do with you know maybe they didn't put a drain in properly maybe the footing wasn't um, large enough maybe it wasn't built correctly maybe there's not enough rebar and on and on and on but if you have trees next to a retaining wall and your retaining wall is starting to crack or move, then there is going to be a very good chance that the trees and the roots are the reason why. And the reason why I made this video was because someone sent me a, asked me a question and I don't think I, uh, my answer was uh, very brief and I kind of thought, you know what, maybe they're gonna need a little more help on this to give them, a, give them a better idea of what's going on. So I hope this video helps. If it does, hit the old thumbs up button and uh, don't forget to leave your questions in the comments area of any video and, or email them to me by visiting our website. The contact information is at the bottom of every single page on the website.